All right, guys, it's time we address the rumors once and for all about a couple of topics, actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm out here in the forest tonight. Um, welcome back to the vlog channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Uh, leave a like. I clearly can't even walk and talk, but I figure we can like sit up here or something. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm sure if you guys have been watching the channel lately, you guys remember these stairs pretty creepy area i found a voice recorder up here and supposedly on the voice recorder there was like recordings of a crime so it's weird but um yeah Just making sure there's nothing else here um i mean there's a couple of things i wanted to talk about um first is you know these randonautica videos right they're great uh, they've been like a pinnacle on this channel really kind of like the foundation and I mean, we've grown since I started Aeronautica over 200,000 subscribers. 200,000 people have joined the channel, supported the channel because they like these Randonautica videos, you know? And it's crazy because if you think about it, rationale wise, right? If we have 300,000 subscribers and we average like, let's say 80 to 100,000, 80 to 100,000 views on a video, a lot of the community is supporting these videos, which is absolutely incredible. It's awesome, right? But apparently people have been saying on the internet that like these random Nautica videos are um, about to end, you know, that I guess it's all coming to an end that, you know, I'm doing other things and stuff like that. And that's not true. Um, I really want to clear this up because the thing is, guys, I do a lot what I do for you guys. Um, you know, ah. I always said, like, when I started YouTube, my number one thing wasn't money, it wasn't numbers, it wasn't fame, any of that, right? Take that aside, and from those who have been supporting me from, like, literally the beginning, you guys know this because I've been doing live streams since, like, I had 10,000 subscribers. And even when it was back then, I said, the only thing I care about is this community and, like, what we've really built from the ground up. And it's, it's amazing, right? It's absolutely incredible. We have some of the most positive, like, members and the communities i've ever seen it's just genuinely so amazing right um from this like my discord like all the things that we've made together it's just been incredible man it, it, it's been one of the most amazing things and i always say to myself why would i why would i stop this why would i quit this like at the end of the day when i upload a video then the thing that makes me happy is seeing your comments and people that are like yo um this really this video really made my day and this video like it you know, like I had a really shitty week, but then this video came and like, I've been looking forward to this. My family's been looking forward to this, stuff like that. It just makes my day. It makes me want to come out and continue to do this, right? And like, I love it. I love what I do, you know? And the Rainonautica videos won't be going anywhere, but I did tweet earlier that I will be experimenting with the channel. And what I do mean by that, here's the thing. Like if I, if I ever do like a haunted video just once in like a month, people assume that I'm becoming a haunted channel and that's it. I'm never doing Randonautica videos again. God forbid Jazz does anything other than Randonautica. It's wild. It's it's crazy. So yeah, I'm, me and my brother are out here on our nightly run. Uh, we go running uh, pretty often. It's nice to stay in shape and stuff. So uh, we were out here and I was just venting to him. And he was like, yo, why don't you tell everyone this? You know, like, just clear the air. So I was like, you know what? I will. I had the camera in the car. Always keep the camera in the car. Probably shouldn't be saying that, but I always have at least one camera in the car just in case like anything happens, right? But yeah, man, I, like I tweeted earlier, I was like, I'm gonna experiment with the channel. And I literally put in the tweet, um, the, the Randonautica videos, the current videos are going nowhere. And I still had people responding, are the Randonautica videos gonna stop? And it's like, the thing is when people do this, they will tell other people. And then those other people will tell other people. And then these, these rumors spread. So I'm gonna clear the air right now. The Randonautica videos are not going anywhere. The haunted videos are not going anywhere. But what I will be doing is experimenting with a lot of other things. Yesterday, I think that's how it's going to go. Yesterday, I dropped a video where I bought a haunted item from the internet and I brought it to the Devil's Forest and like I opened it there and I, I investigated it. I did this because I want to switch things up. You know, if, if I keep doing the same thing, it's going to get stale. What the hell is going on? And I don't want that to happen. I want to keep um, just doing things and keep, keep, keep it fresh, keep it, keep it sexy, you know? <laughs> um, a couple other things I wanted to address too is like uh, Ben, you know, so Ben does pop in in videos every so often. I have a lot of friends I, a lot of friends I film with, right? Ben is one of them. Ben is probably the one I film with the most. Thing is though, Ben works a lot of hours. And on top of that, Ben, um, 
has a girlfriend and a lot of things he does in his free time. Now, there's a question that people ask me and that's why don't you pay Ben full time so he could film with you full time? Now, I, I tried. I offered Ben a salary where I was like, Ben, I will pay you for a year, film with me you know, whenever I film or whenever you can film. And he said to me, I appreciate it. I would love to do it. The only thing is I can't offer him benefits like his job can. So his job gives him uh, life insurance, health insurance, dental insurance, um, everything, like vision, everything, right? So I can't offer that because I don't even get that through YouTube. I don't have anything. So like if anything happens to me, like health wise, like I cut my finger, right? I cut my finger in half recently. You guys know that. And I had to pay for that completely out of pocket, right? So completely, you know. So that's that's kind of the thing too. And like we do a lot of sketchy shit. Like we go in abandoned buildings and stuff like that. God forbid Ben slips and falls, which he has done numerous times and like hurts himself. Um, I have to pay for that cash, stuff like that. So that's another thing I wanted to cover. Uh, a lot of, oh, that was you? Okay. I heard I thought someone was walking up on us. But I guess we should, be careful. These are steps, believe it or not. They're like rock steps, but they're covered with leaves. You can't really see anything. Um, but yeah, just keeping it, keeping it fresh, keeping it exciting for you guys, because you know, that's what it's all about. And there's, there's a lot of things I really want to cover too. It's just like, Something's up there. Something's... Hello? I guess it's a, a lot of things I could talk about, you know, a lot of topics, really. Uh, another topic, uh, number one topic is definitely Chris, you know. Chris is, uh, for those who don't know, Chris was a big part of the channel for about a year and a half, two years. Chris joined the channel when I was at around 200,000 subscribers. He stayed with me just past 300,000 subscribers. And then he went to go chase his own dreams. He wanted to become a realtor. He was telling me this for the longest time. Like He wanted to take real estate classes and do this and do that. And then um, the thing is, when Chris left, it was like a really last ditch thing. Like, it was kind of like, yo, Jazz, I have this opportunity, you know, like, and we sat down, we talked about it. And it was nothing but love. Only thing is, is like, with the internet, a, a lot of rumors spread. People are starting to say things like, oh, Chris left for this, and Chris left for that, or Jazz fired him for this. or that. And it wasn't really the case. It was like a, bro, I wish you nothing but the best in your future. And he's happy now. And that's all I care about. At the end of the day, that's still my bro. I, I love him forever and ever. Like... We went through some insane shit together, insane, insane shit together, right? And you don't go through what we did together and like, you know, if there ever was going to be any tension, it was because of the people on the internet spewing rumors. Like people were messaging him and then messaging me and like saying things back and forth. And like, we literally <laughs> like, we're talking about this, like, and we were like, yo, like, what are these people doing, man? But it's just, that's just how the internet is. It's weird. But you know, being a part, being that this is like my job, if you will, this is like my whole life. I want to be one of those transparent people. Like I want to share things with you directly because I want to connect with you guys on a more personal basis and not like, I guess, keep things away from you. That's why I like the second channel. It's cool. I really do want to address all this shit. A lot of people are like, oh, why don't you film with this person? Or why don't you film with this person? Number one thing, why don't you film with Omar? Why don't you film with CJ? Why don't you film? Guys, I would love to. We all live in different parts. CJ lives in Delaware. Omar lives in Florida. I actually just filmed with Omar, but that will be coming soon. Um, as far as like CJ and Chris, they're constantly traveling and like on top of that, like they have their own businesses. I have my own businesses. I have a family and I just moved into a house with my girlfriend, my dog and like thing is like I want to be with them as much as possible. It, it's just so many things, right? At the end of the day, YouTube is a lot for me, you know, it, it is, it's my life and you guys are family. Like this community is family to me and I, I love you guys so, so, so much and all I want to do is make you guys happy. But at the same time, it's like, I also need sometimes space from YouTube to fa basically focus on my personal life. And sometimes when I do that, people on YouTube assume like the worst. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm trying to find that like fine medium, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm experimenting with different types of content, different types of things. So definitely go check out the video I just dropped on the main channel with the uh, 
haunted doll I bought from the internet. That shit was wild, by the way. We call some insane. The comments on that? Oh my god. Crazy, crazy. But, um. Yeah. But, I, that's why I always say, like, if you guys ever have a question, please just ask me. Don't believe what people say on the internet. Like, genuinely, if you have a question about anything, a friend of mine or anything, just let me know. Um, I mean, I guess uh, people, uh, the internet's a weird place, but um, I'll tell you a little bit about my upcoming plans. Um, I'm actually going to Japan in two weeks, and then I'm going to France in about, I think I'm going to France the first week of January, and I'm going to Australia the third or fourth week of January. So I have a lot going on. We're going worldwide, baby. Um, it's pretty crazy. I've actually never been to any of those three countries, and I'm very excited to go. So uh, Japan, I'm actually going with Angelo and Steve Ronan. Uh, so that's that'll be very very exciting now. Here's the thing about Japan Japan has some notoriously haunted locations and we all know which ones I'm talking about right and in the re recent years they've been Expressed in a not so positive light now. Here's the thing. You know when I do paranormal investigations I like to do things in the most respectful way I can I don't even film in cemeteries just because like I envision like People are literally on top of someone's grave who has a family and stuff with like equipment asking all these questions and stuff. Listen, to each their own, I just don't do that stuff. But like, now we're talking about that. But regardless of the fact, uh, Angelo and Steve have both been to Japan and they said they have like some of the craziest locations ever, like a band buildings and haunted places. So I'm really, really excited for that. I'm, I'm actually really excited. Um, it's, it's gonna be interesting. Um, on top of that, then I'm going to France with my dad and we're going to watch a PSG game. So um, PSG is the soccer team in Paris. We wanna go watch Messi once before he retires. So we want to watch it live and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited for that. And then um, since I'm there, I figured I'd go to the Paris catacombs because why the hell not? You know, I am definitely terrified of caves and stuff like that. So this will be very interesting. I, I have been in talks with somebody who lives up in France and he will be helping us with a tour and everything. So I'm actually going to see if I could bring my dad. My dad is terrified of ghosts. Like he, bo actually both my parents, but my dad, <laughs> he really doesn't like the paranormal stuff. So I'll see. I'll see if I can bring him along. I feel like that'd be... Imagine that video title. Bringing my dad to the Paris catacombs. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, he, he, he'd, he'd kill me. Um, and then I'm going to Australia. I'm actually going to watch the Australian Open. I'm going to support my man, Kyrgios. And um, while I'm there, I figured I'd do some meet and greets and stuff. I'll be doing meet and greets in all types of countries whenever I go. So stay up, be on the lookout for that. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I'll be announcing where I am, when I am. Like when I do these meetups and stuff, so I can meet all you guys, you know, give you a big old hug and, uh, you know, like maybe a swirly or something, I don't know, if you're into that kind of stuff. But apart from that, yeah, I just wanted to address these kind of things. It's, it's super frustrating when I take a break from the internet, I come back and people are like, I can't believe like, you know, the most recent one, I, I thought it was pretty crazy. I, uh, these rumors are wild. Um, so I tweeted the other day. It's funny, I, I said, no one sees the sleepless nights, the missing out on family events, and the, just dropping your favorite hobbies. And that's true, like I haven't been to so many family events recently because I've just been grinding, it really, you know, all my businesses. And then I had to drop soccer, which I love soccer more than anything, or football, anything more than my life. Like I, I it is my favorite thing to do in my free time, but I, at the end of the day, like at this point in time, I just don't have time for it. And all the support, you guys know, I go to sleep at like 6, 7 in the morning every single day. Wake up at 10, 11, go back to the grind, right? And I tweeted that and I was like, well, but the thing is though, I'm living a dream right now. Like I'm doing YouTube before technically a living and I, I love it. You know, I love this. I'm, you know, it's cool. I love you guys, family. And someone responded and goes, the millions in your bank account help. And I go, bro, excuse me? And they were like, well, the mi millions in your bank account help. And I was like... Uh, where are you getting this information from? When I started YouTube, I was working at Best Buy. I worked at Best Buy until I had 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> like, and even when I quit Best Buy, I was just barely making it by with like the YouTube AdSense and stuff. And uh, he sent me a Google thing that said I was worth $4 billion. Br bro, if I was worth $4 billion, I wouldn't be driving a red Honda. Maybe I would. I love that car, but I, <laughs> I mean, Everyone would have red Hondas, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, no, I mean like seriously, if I was worth four, I, I, I don't even think Mr. Beast is worth four billion dollars, you know what I mean? I'd still be doing YouTube just because I love you guys to death, but I think I've 
they'd be doing things a little bit differently, you know? Probably have like a whole camera crew, multiple POVs and stuff like that. But hey, you gotta start somewhere. That's aiming really high though. But you see what I mean? Like that's, that's just how the internet is. It's wild, but um, we're gonna go back to our workout and um, gotta stay in shape. We're doing a lot of running lately. <laughs> Abandoned buildings, forests, you name it. Tons of running. But um, yeah, I figured I'd just come back here and check this place out. And I mean, you're hearing things all around us. I've seen you literally turn around like a hundred times. <laughs> but I, I get it. I'm, I'm super paranoid too. I, I hear tons of things. There's people talking. You hear that, right? All right. Um, let's just head back to the car. Um, so next up, you're going to see me and Angelo went to... I recorded this like a week ago, so I, I, I know. I'm just trying to refresh my memory because I'm a, not the brightest tool in the shed. That's the wrong phrase. Um, we went to this abandoned, it was, it was called a school for idiots. I really don't like the name, but it's basically an asylum. And um, I was vlogging before we went in. So there's like a, the next section you'll see is from that. So big shout out to Angelo. Love that guy. Uh, tons of content coming from me and Angelo soon. Uh, seriously, go go support us. I, I love the support you guys are giving him from our channel to his too. Like, it's so, so cool. You guys are amazing. So enjoy this clip. And um, yeah, if you guys have ever heard, I want to hear what's the craziest thing you've ever heard. Like down in the comment section below, like the craziest rumors. It could be about me. It could be about you. It could be about anybody. I just want to hear the craziest rumor you have ever heard. I'm genuinely curious because like internet's a weird place, guys. Internet's a really weird place. So yeah, with all that being said, is it like So I thought I just saw something move it. You hear that bell? You can't miss that. See what I mean guys? This place is just weird. Are you ready? Let's head out of here. You wanna hold that? Um Yeah, enjoy this next clip with Angelo. And um yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, peace. All right, everybody, so Angela and I are on route to a massive abandoned school slash hospital slash asylum slash many things. It's right there. And it's broad daylight and we're just going to walk up the road, um, you know. That's how we usually do, right? In plain sight, bro, right? Yeah, of course. So I'm we've... Sure this is where the KFC is. Yeah, yeah, if anyone asks, we're just going to Grandma's house. It's a shortcut. Mima lives over the hill. <laughs> oh, yeah. Premise is under video surveillance. But so is Mima's house. <laughs> um, so we've been to this place before numerous times. And the last time we went there was probably one of the most terrifying nights of my life. Actually, no, the last time I went there, I cut my hand open. I had to go to the hospital. Ben had to take me to the hospital because I fell on a bunch of glass. And then before that, me, you, and Ben went there, and we were split up, and I, I was like hiding in the playground outside for like 30 minutes. Oh, Ben was being chased. It was, it was horrifying. Good times. Yeah, Good I'd times. say. But someone's clearly mowing the lawn here, you know? I don't know. Looks pretty. You got like this destroyed yeah, but you got to make it look pretty, right? It's for sale. Oh yeah, that's true. It is for sale. So it's a little windy out here. I apologize in advance, but it'll get better once we go inside. Just figured we'd uh, vlog a little. Angelo. What? Bones. Oh, ew. Nasty. Damn, that's where I left my chicken wing. You did say you want to go to KFC. Yeah. He's a man of his word. He doesn't. I love how we just, the only way in <laughs> is this busy street. Yeah, yeah. We're just like, eh, Fuck make it. yourself at home, you know? I mean, look at the place, as if people don't come here. Like, What's there's, abandoned? Almost, there's almost more spray paint than there is brick at this point. Brick. 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 It is a quite brick outside, not gonna lie. Yeah. So what was this place exactly, do you remember? It was, uh... An asylum, essentially. Oh, okay. A mental institution. Because they called it a school for idiots. I really don't like yeah. that name, but... 
Well, that's what they used to say back in the day, right before, you know, humans smartened up a little bit. Um, these places were notorious, especially for some odd reason in the state of New York and Pennsylvania had some of the worst mental institutions back in the day from like the 1800s, which is interesting because at some point in time, they used to actually treat them like, you know, normal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they would give them jobs around the places. A lot of them would have been like farm schools um, and they actually like were self-sustaining. Then we got into this, you know, age where they decided they wanted to do experiments, lobotomies and all sorts of weird stuff. They'd pull people's teeth out and oh, shoot. all sorts of nasty stuff. They used to try and convert people from homosexuality. Um, things like that and they just treated people very badly for a very long time I mean I've noticed finally they changed I've noticed that most asylums in the country are abandoned for the same reason yeah because now the they just call reason. them psychiatric institutions they just changed the name that's all you got to do right it's not that complicated apparently <sighs> man I'm getting so many bad like memories right now from this place Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, where do I begin? I think I'll begin with being in the kitchen area, hearing tons of banging everywhere. But this place is rotting, too. Like, a lot of the sounds we hear could be from, like, loose metal or... Yeah, look at this place. Man. Bad memories. <laughs> Lots of bad memories. But um, we're going to get inside soon. If I remember correctly, we went through the back, right? Yeah. We might do the same. I just figured I'd vlog a little for you guys. Show you guys a little of like what happens before, you know, before we make ourselves at home, if you will. That's pretty much it. Normally you try and ninja your way into places. Find, uh, you know, an easy way to enter and uh, hope nobody say, sees you. Do you know how convenient it would be if we had grappling hooks? Oh, dude, And we were just totally. like... <laughs> like, just bro. Spider-Man. Well, that's who. <laughs> One way about it. Well, at least we know every single window in the place is open. Oh, yeah. Probably cold in there. Let's go check the front, actually. Maybe, maybe there's a way in here. We never checked the front door. Cestus. Car seats. You know, just your ordinary toilet seat, you know. Things you just expect to find at an abandoned location. Pretty neat though. Looks like someone was trying to chew their way through. Probably Angela. Nom, 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 nom. You guys want to take a look inside? What do you guys see? Hold on, let me get my flashlight out. Anything cool? I swear to God, it's sort of whistle. It's not Angelo, because Angelo's right there, vlogging. Angelo! Yeah? I'm hearing whistling from inside. Huh? Someone is whistling on the inside of the building. Yeah. It sounded very distant. I thought you were messing with me, but I saw you were vlogging. No, I'm, I was literally just talking. Sheesh. I, I stuck my camera in here, yeah. and all I heard was like... I can't even whistle properly. They beat us to it, Angela. Yeah. Damn. It says back rooms. <laughs> back rooms. Level three. Perfect. I just beat level two yesterday. So. Cool. Oh my lord. Be careful of those Whoa. nails. Holy yeah. shit. Uh, go this way. Can you cut it all together? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's seen better days. Oh, yeah. Right? 
You know what I mean? Yeah. It sounds like it's like right above us. Yeah. Not far at all. Hello? Howdy. Told you. Oh, there's a door, Angelo. I suppose. <laughs> I, I literally saw that it was boarded and I'm like, I'm still gonna try. Oh, you could pee right there. In that white thing. Oh, cool. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, just find a nice old bush. Don't, don't pee in there. Uh, uh, anaconda will bite your willy, Angel. And then what? I don't know if it works like that. I was hoping I could like climb up here. <laughs> I can't. Oh, well, good luck. All right, well, looks like we're gonna have to really go around yeah. back. It was crazy, Angelo. I could basically stand straight. Oh wow! Yeah, you're short. Short kings. <laughs> Oh, I'm coming. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta go around back, guys. So, I'm gonna conserve my batteries as much as I can. God knows how long we'll be in here. And then, uh, well, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace! Hey, what's up, fam? I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It's a very important vlog for me. Uh, I had to really clear up a lot of things, clear the air and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um... With all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Um, make sure to go watch the video I dropped over on the main channel. It, it's insane. Uh, I ordered this haunted item from the internet and it was wild. We caught some crazy stuff and the comments are going crazy right now because people caught some stuff in the video. Like th this is crazy. The link to that video will be down in the description below. Make sure to go watch that. You won't regret it. It's crazy. Uh, but with all that being said, see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.